Good afternoon, this is Shaman Oracle reading for Thursday and today I'm finishing up reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here now is for Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn. The reading starts with the Moonology card and out came Blue Moon. And the Blue Moon is about the belief in the impossible. As the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests that you are about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign if you have felt like you are hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe. Whatever you are asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, this is a rare opportunity before you, so it is important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you are asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. So be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. Attune to the moon by saying, I am lucky. Additional meanings for the card, they are miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon. And what will happen now may only happen once. The person you are inquiring about is a rare find and if you can believe it, you can achieve it. And this situation is unlikely to repeat. The teaching of the card is there are usually three full moons between each equinox and solstice and vice versa. Sometimes though we get four full moons in a single season. When that happens, the third of the seasons for full moons is called a blue moon. At least that was the original definition of a blue moon. These days it is popular to use the blue moon for the second full moon in any calendar month that has two full moons. The wisdom of the oracle card for you is called happy, happy. Essential meanings, they are joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment and a feeling that all is well. The oracle's message here is that your desires, they are effortlessly fulfilled now. So find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with the things as they are. You are free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy from moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. So all is well. The tide is in for now. So enjoy playfully splashing in it. There is a relationship message. 
There are moments in a relationship when you just feel good about whom you are with and you know that your heart is wide open to be friend, to love and to care for another without wanting anything in return. This is the kind of happy that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment they are here now, not somewhere else or off in the future. The grass is greenest right where you stand, so be grateful and delight in your relationship. And if you are seeking one, be happy now because happiness attracts more of itself like the bees to honey. There is a prosperity message. This is a time to take pride in your accomplishments. You are doing good work, providing exceptional service and you are well compensated for it. The world rains gratitude upon you and you are happy with the results of your efforts and creativity. Isn't it amazing to consider all that you have done? Remember your partnership with spirit in this moment too. Your soul has always known you could accomplish anything if it brought you joy. Next card is the Angel Guide Oracle card and out came Earth and Crowned. And your message is you may be feeling all over the place at this time, most likely because you are spreading yourself too thin and taking on too many projects at once. So your angel guide is encouraging you to get grounded. When you come back to earth, you will have a clearer insight into who you are and what you need to do to feel safer and more at ease in your life. You are being guided to take some time to breathe, connect with fresh air and even go somewhere in nature where you can relax, release and let go. You may be uncertain about what you are supposed to be focusing on at this time and that is because your energy is a little bit dispersed right now. But the angels of the earth are with you to help you ground yourself and feel connected again as you have important work to do and exciting experiences can only unfold when your energy is intact and contained. There is an extended message. You are blessed to receive this card today because it is a message of protection and guardianship. The angels are strongly connected to you and your path right now and they want to support your evolution. When you lose a sense of connection to who you are, You can often find yourself focusing on energy or projects or even old habits that can limit that evolution. So take time to breathe, call on Mother Earth to hold you and invite the angels of the earth to draw deep roots from your being down to the heart of the earth. Know that when you are grounded, You are strong, focused and loving and you can make decisions that are enriching and revitalizing to you. When this card shows up for you, the angels are guiding you to remember that you are of great value. And yes, the earth is 
blessed to have you. The goddesses, gods and guardians oracle card is called Hot. And Hot is about telling the truth and says bring it out into the open and be true to your feelings. Hot is the blind god of winter in Norse mythology. He held a quiet inner strength and was always ready to help others. Hot was tricked by the god Loki into firing an arrow made of mistletoe, which killed his twin brother Baldur. Despite his tragic mistake, Hot becomes his twin's companion in the underworld after his own death. Hot makes amends by being honest about his error and becoming a spiritual counselor to Baldur. Norse legend has that Hot survives Ragnarok a destructive period preceding a new world and through his atonement goes on to rule alongside Baldur. Hot's symbols are mistletoe and darkness. Hot's steadfast presence is here to remove the blindfold from your eyes. He invites you to look squarely at any truth you have been avoiding. So be completely honest with yourself about your real feelings. If you have made a mistake, do your best to make amends. Integrity is essential for a clear path ahead. Sticking your head in the sand only works for so long. The truth always is servicing somehow. Once you face up to reality, you can access all the energy and support that you need. Denial is a defensive state in which you refuse to accept the truth. It's recognized as a stage in the grief process. Denial, guilt and shame can go hand in hand. These are heavy feelings. Hot encourages you to get therapeutic support to work through these emotions. Hot is a guide through the dark night of the soul and he can help with depression or loss of faith. He supports recovery from addictions, crises and traumas. He will sit with you patiently in your darkest moments, never rushing you to heal. Hot will guide your words and actions in any situation where the truth is needed. There are additional meanings to the card. Seek recovery for any addictions. Deception or misinformation could be at play. So check all the facts. Don't try to be like others. Be naturally and authentically you. See this invocation. The truth is safe. Honesty aligns me with my highest purpose. And the last card is the Priestess of Light Oracle card. And out came River of Blessings. And it's about releasing constraints. The Priestess of Purification holds out a bowl of blessed water overflowing in your direction. The all-seeing jaguar brings his power of creation into your life, heralding a significant positive change in your circumstances. 
You may have been experiencing a time of challenges such as financial constraints, perhaps living paycheck to paycheck or going deep into debt. Your restrictions, however, may be of a more emotional nature. Perhaps you have been lonely, missing romantic, familiar or friendly love. Even a lack of joy from the ongoing tediousness of life could be a great limitation for you. But whether these restrictions have been long-lasting or recent, this card reveals a new powerful force flowing to your life, breaking through even severe limitations of the past. Your difficulties may have been very hard to bear, but this has been a time of profound purification for you. The priestess is blessing your rebirth after suffering and so giving you the jaguar's ability to view your experience with sharp-eyed clarity, a release of attachment that brings the promise of achievement. Whatever limitation you may have endured, a beneficial solution is coming your way. So rest assured that the old issues will be resolved. As you go through your day, Bless yourself with a clear intention. See any restrictions as merely a part of your passage from purification to personal progress. Just as the Jaguar has a unique visual acuity, your own inner visions, they are coming into sharp focus, ready to become an even greater reality. In fact, this river of blessings will carry you far beyond anything you have yet imagined. Say this affirmation, I release attachment and restriction. I am blessed and purified, ready to receive the ever-expanding value flowing into my life. That was your reading Capricorn. Thanks for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. Take care and goodbye.